Meet America's new ambassador to Britain. Personally chosen by President Truman, he is 64-year-old Oliver Max Gardner, a former governor of North Carolina. With a big job on hand, Max Gardner has this to say about Britain and her people. From the common law of England has come our concept of law, of liberty, and order. It came from the common sense of a great race, and it has been enforced by the common sense of a great people. Off on a 10,000-mile voyage to the Antarctic is an American Navy task force. Equipped with specially constructed planes and helicopters, it's the biggest ever polar expedition. They've got everything, even down to the huskies. Judging by the puppies, they've got two of everything. Holding the baby on the right is Rear Admiral Cruzen, second in command to veteran explorer Bird. To the South Pole go 3,000 sailors and 3,000 scientists. Four other nations are already searching there. It'll soon be quite crowded. For the people of Britain, a Christmas box of South African peaches. Say, these really taste nice. What a peach. The first fruit to be sent from the Union to Britain since 1939, they'll certainly be welcome. To South Africa, thanks for a Christmas good wish. From our Palestine reporter, a more hopeful note. The first Jewish immigrants released from detention in Cyprus arriving at Haifa Harbor. They now enter Palestine legally. May the arrival of these refugees herald a peaceful era for the Holy Land. To the terrorists, we say, further outrages will undo the life's work of those Jewish leaders who seek to build a new Palestine by peaceful means. This is the story of the McAllister family of Ashington, Northumberland. Starting from Cairo, they were part of a convoy of four lorries. Each carried a British family, one from Bournemouth, one from Newcastle, Nottingham and London, on the long trek through Africa from Egypt to the Cape. When our Cairo reporter met them, he found only three lorries. Impatient at delays, the McAllisters went on alone. They were later found by searching aircraft, lost in the lost world of the desert. Now recovered, they are off again to a new home in South Africa. <laughs>